Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and I received a comment from my YouTube video. This is for how to create a mezzanine inside a warehouse and Novis, no, Novex asked me how to create those roof holders or trusses. Okay, so this is the one that he commented and this is the file that I used for that video and he asked how I did this roof trusses actually these are very simple trusses okay so this is very easy you just need to use the extrusion volume do not use any um, um, column here or platform or anything you can just use the extrusion volume and um, put it there and make it stand okay so let's just show it rather than saying about it okay i googled one warehouse where there are trusses like this and then i will save this one in my desktop and then I will import it now in my dialogs file. So go to the file, import, and then plan. And then I'll go to the desktop where I save that trusses and they say open and then next. And okay, I will just assume the length of this one because I am not sure. So I'll just say this is and then enter and then finished and then what i'm going to do is i move it a little so just go here and click on the trusses thumbnail and then move the plan outside there you go i'm not sure what is the length of this one oh this is 17 okay then i can scale my picture into 17 meters also okay so just go and edit the plan again so i, I will click this one and then i will next and then measure it as 17.2 17 and then type 17.2 and then finish okay so i made this one a 17.2 like what i have existing warehouse here okay so what i'm going to do is i will just trace those trusses using this extrusion volume so go to the furniture and objects tab and then use this extrusion body tab here and then trace those trusses so you'll either have this first trusses here or you can mirror it later on so either of the two you can do it either mirror or build it like tracing it all over like this and then close polygon and then i will just make a thickness of this one as say for example 0.1 or 10 centi so 0.1 thickness so it goes to the story tab so i'll go to the outside here you go and then i will open my trusses okay and then i will add uh, this uh, bottom trusses so i'll just use extrusion body again and then i will just do like this or i can use a cube to make it easier yep so either of the two you can do that and then point one again and then also this trusses here i will just trace it like this so whichever is more convenient on you because this is just for decoration you don't need to worry about the detail of this one because we are not structural engineers we are lighting designers so yeah just trace it and don't worry how it looks and in the middle just make it a half because later on we will mirror it okay like this one so i'm just tracing it just to make a decorative trusses on my design and then if you made a mistake you can just uh, edit it later there you go and then close yep so make it point 0.1 also same thing uh, maybe this one is point zero five because this is a small braces of trusses and if you made a mistake right click and edit the polygon say for example like this yep also this one so don't be too perfectionist with your trusses because it's just because it's just a decorative trusses not a really structural trusses okay so if you made a mistake just edit it and then okay press enter or okay and then we will just go into mirror it to the other side 
okay and this pole we can also add this one because this is the main column the outer surface is the cladding and this one is the main uh, trusses column or the structural column so i will add this one also close polygon and then i will right click and scale it up and maybe this one is 0.15 much thicker than the other one so if we go to the 3d view it will be look like this and if we turn off our image it will be look like this and then we will mirror those columns and trusses so let's go now click this one press shift and then um control c and control v and then go to this uh, front view and then right click and then rotate and then just rotate it and then go to the plan view again and move and go and open your drawing to see the tracing and there you go so let's go and see it i think this is perfect so this is now our trusses you can also adjust the thickness of this one if you like and if you are satisfied now go and select everything and you can either group it or you can make this one as a perfect or one single object so for now i'm just going to group it so press this group tab and then go to the elevation view and then make it up right click and rotate there you go and then move right click move also again there you go go to the plan view and then rotate again because you are going to match it to your um, structure zoom extent and then rotate okay and then move it okay so if you want you can actually create like uh, copy along the line or just do it individually okay let's just make it as one object because it's, it's not working as a group okay let's go inside and see how it looks oh no look at this one because it's not matching my original design so we can scale it if we like so just go and combine it now so go to this boolean operations and then say name this one as trusses and then combine okay so now it is combined and because this is my this is not my original trusses i'll go to the elevation view and make sure that it's fitting to our design so i'll go and scale it so i'll i will scale it down like this and then i will need to match it to my interior okay there you go so let's go inside see if it's, yeah i think this is fine now okay still my roof is not matching properly because my roof is i think flat let's go outside yes it's flat so if we want to make our roof also like um like same to our trusses so go to this stro story tab zoom extent and then select the roof and then select uh, the double pitch roof and then go and either automatically place it or um, draw it so i'm going to just automatically place the roof there you go see how it looks so this is now our ugly roof and then go to the elevation view to adjust it so uh, you either scale it or you will adjust it by numbers here on the right side so what i'm going to do is i will just scale it like this yep and see how it looks inside there you go because i use this to uh, this file to my previous tutorial that's why it's now messed up okay so this is how it looks and I think the roof now is matching to our trusses. So just we just need to adjust it a little more. So this is the roof. And um, the height should be, let's measure this one. So 1.6. So let's just make the height as 1.6. Or let's make it 1.2 yep one point um 18 okay i think this is matching now there you go so this is now our roof and the trusses 
So let's remove this one now because it's getting confusing now. So this is my original trusses that I'm removing and then I follow the pitch of my trusses into the roof. So I'll go now to the plan view, plan view and move it. There you go. And then I will copy it along the line. So let's re remove this one, this one also, and this one also. So I'm just going to control C and control V or I will just um, copy along the line like here, pressing this um, copy and arrange and then press copy along the line and then press it here. So one, two, three, and then put three pieces and then apply and then move it. So you will see it go to the side view because it's outside the building and then move it there. All right, so there you go. Now we have our, okay. All right, this is, I, I really used this one in my previous tutorial. Okay, so this is now our beautiful trusses and look at that. So make sure that your luminaire is below the trusses because otherwise it will block the light. So you can move it down, move the mounting height into something like four point seven maybe or four point six four point five there you go yeah something like that all right so that's how easy it is you just need to use the extrusion volume to make those trusses all right so novex if you have more questions just let me know and keep on commenting and watching all my video tutorials or if you want to learn more about the Dialux Evo software, go and visit my Udemy course, the Dialux Evo for beginners. Okay, so check this one and see if it fits to your budget. Okay, so see you again on the next video and don't forget to subscribe.